passport and paper, please. I think you're still bitter for being the fall guy. I passed bitter two years ago. Now, I'm pissed off. The Iran Contra gig was bad business for everyone. It doesn't seem to have hurt your standing in the community. I'm not a Boy Scout like you, Benson. I'm flexible. I understand the system. Tell me something, Oxnard. What? It hurt when you bend over that much. Bienvenidos a Santa Brava, señores. Gracias. You get used to it. Private enterprise these days, David. Guns for hire. Professional defenders of Pax Americana. Save the commercial for someone else, Oxner. It's a versus mutual friend of ours. Right here, man. Shackwell. It's been a long time. Too long. Well, you look fit. Nice tan. Been keeping busy. I suppose you could talk about my favorite color, too, but why don't we do that after you tell me what you want? Ah, oh, Benson. Time has changed you. You've grown cynical and impatient. I like that. Santa Brava. A small but uh, strategically significant little piece of real estate. The U.S. government put the previous regime, the Santiago family, into power. That was 50 years ago. When their patriarch, Emilio Santiago, finally died a couple of years ago, Uncle Sugar proposed a new deal in keeping with these enlightened times of ours. No more U.S. aid unless Santa Prava agrees to stage a free and open election. The beneficiary of this mandate was Fernando Casillas elected El Presidente de Santa Brava nearly one year ago today. His wife's the one that hired us, David, against the wishes of her husband. She's afraid that a reactionary element within the government will attempt to eliminate the president during his first anniversary speech, which uh, is to be delivered a mere 72 hours from now. Where do I fit in? A Casillas' greatest moment of vulnerability will be during the speech itself. He'll be in the middle of a plaza completely exposed. Now, the uh, Santa Brava security people are uh, competent, but they are not trained to cope with an outside professional. No, uh, we need a specialist of our own in there. We need you, David. Come on, guys. This is pretty basic stuff. Why me? For one, you're available. And we don't have time to conduct job interviews, Mr. Benson. David Benson, may I present Senora Isabella Santiago Casillas, wife to President Casillas. Senora Presidenta. Senora Casillas has taken a proactive part in overseeing the matter of her husband's security. She was most impressed with your qualifications. Thank you. You're welcome. David, inside you'll find a cashier's check for $10,000 paid in advance. U.S. passport and visa papers included further congressional pardon for your uh, unwitting involvement in that Iran business. The second chance, David. I am told you're the best, Mr. Benson. Please consider your decision carefully, if you will excuse me. Correct me if I'm wrong. Did Senora Presidenta's name have a Santiago somewhere in the middle? Her father was old Emilio's brother. You know how it is in these banana republics. If there's not some thread connecting them to the old regime. Casillo's name never would have made it onto the ballot. Gotcha. 
But senor and senora Casillas are part of a new breed in this country. Educated at foreign universities, politically savvy, and genuinely concerned about the welfare of the people. The ghost of the Santiago clan are the least of Casillas' worries, with reactionary generals and guerrillas lurking in the jungle. Guerrillas? Rebels, revolutionarios, you know the type. Enemies of the rich, friends of the peasants. Supposedly there's been an armistice in effect since the election, a chance for Casillas to make good on his campaign promises. How long is that supposed to last? Who knows? Bottom line, Casillas is a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Not bad for a girl. Yeah, well, it's my job to make you look good, Washington. <laughs> Gentlemen, fall in, please. This is your team, David. I believe you'll recognize at least one of these ladies. Hey, Oxnard, classy setup you got here. Look at this shit, old man. This must be the place where all the flies come to die. Come on, Mason. We've been in worse. Yeah. Honduras, 88. Bad day. <laughs> Fucked up is more like it, buddy. Heard they cut your nuts off and shove them down your throat. Sure could have used a breath, man. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you, Mason. Good to see you, buddy. Sergeant Stiles, formerly 82nd Airborne. Heard a lot about you, sir. Good things? Nothing but. Good. Washington, Rexel, former Army Ranger. Pleasure to be aboard, sir. Good to have you. Yeah. Peoples, flu choppers, covert ops. Probably been his passenger a couple of times. I'm sure. How you doing, man? <laughs> Oxnard, you order a pizza? And with jalapenos, you'll love it. Uh-oh, Oxnard. Should have paid that parking ticket. <laughs> yeah. One of you gentlemen is Senor Oxnard? I am Capitan Miguel Ramirez of the Santa Brava Federal Police. Reporting for duty, senores. The captain has been attached to our team. What? Senores, in our country, it is generally understood that the federales, the federal police, are in charge of our own president's security. Wait, Capitan, hold it right there. I can't expect any more fucking surprises. This surprise was ours, senor. Not yours. I'm just here to make sure there is coordination between the different security details. Now, is there a problem with that? No problem. I'm sure we can find a way to work this out. Right, David? Gracias, señor. You are David Benson, no? You, uh, have some problem working with a local, señor Benson? Not really. Maybe... Because you've been doing nothing more than chasing horse for the last five years. I think we're all put us down here. Maybe it's because I've been down here too long. Don't take this personally, Capitan. But I just don't trust anyone who's wearing a uniform. And I have been here too long to trust anyone who's ever been with the CIA. Don't take it personal, amigo. Hey, David, come on. So, Mason, how'd you get roped into this one? As usual, they hired me for my girlish good looks and my scintillating personality. <laughs> oh, shit, man, last time I saw a face like yours had a fucking hook in it. <laughs> Look who's talking. I'm not exactly growing a third leg staring at yours, but uh, I'm an out-of-work grunt. Shack well called, waving cash. There was nothing else on my dance card. How about you, Styles? Oh, same shit, man. Just a different file. <laughs> Speaking of shit, boys. El Capitan, you getting your shit together over there? <laughs> As you were, man. David, if I'm not taking you away from anything terribly important, Colonel would like a word. Chopper drops us in Santa Bravo City, 0600 tomorrow. Casillas personal guards will pick us up at the helipad. I'd really sleep better tonight if you just televised a speech. I don't like the plaza. It's too open. Well, you're welcome to run it up the flagpole and see if he salutes. We're scheduled to have a security briefing with El Presidente at 0900. And, gentlemen, we have been asked to include El Capitano. In the interest of diplomacy, we don't have a choice. He's a plant. They don't trust us. 
almost as much as we don't trust him. No problem. We'll just keep the good captain's radio, switch to another channel. Wouldn't want it any other way, Colonel. See you later. That's the way I go. Presidente, I would like to introduce to you our team leader, David Benson. Yes, Mr. Benson. My wife has already told me a lot about you. Uh, I'd like to thank you in advance for your most able assistance. Uh, sir, I've been told you said no to a televised speech. In my opinion, it's a big mistake. Mr. Benson, let me be very frank with you. I am told that you're being paid quite well for your services. If I were to cancel my plans now, then I would have no further need for you. Or your team of professional killers, now would I? Fernando, Mr. Benson has made great sacrifices on behalf of his integrity and his ideals. He does not do these for money, but for a chance to regain his honor and return to his country. Is that so? Then I have a question for you, Mr. Benson. Man of high ideals that you claim to be. Have you observed, I mean really observed, how the people of Santa Brava exist? Yes, sir, I have. Then you've seen the poverty, the misery, and yet observe how their presidente lives. Please tell me, Mr. Benson, I'm very anxious to know, how does a man of high ideals such as yourself reconcile such disparity? What would you do with such a palace as this? You're asking the wrong guy, sir. Me? A room this big, I would turn it into a basketball court. <laughs> yes, precisely, precisely, why not? And what else, Mr. Benson? A hospital ward, perhaps? Because you see, this presidential palace represents everything that was wrong with the previous regime. Uh, Fernando, are we not losing track of the reason Mr. Benson is here? Yes, perhaps so. Perhaps so. You will forgive me, Mr. Benson, if sometimes I <laughs> jump to conclusions too quickly. But remember the words we've spoken here today. Because you'll hear them again tomorrow. At the plaza. Sir, I still wish you'd reconsider. The people must know that I am one of them, Mr. Benson. Don't you see? Doesn't anyone see? I refuse to appear as some untouchable televised phantom. Sir, I like what you're saying. But it is my job to make sure that those convictions don't get you killed. Duly noted, my friend. Duly noted. Keep me safe and sound. I place my trust in you. And in God. Checks to myself and Major Oxnard for bird farts. I want to know about it. Styles Washington, ground level north south. Peoples, Oceanside. Capitan Ramirez, I want you behind the gazebo. Somehow, Mason, 
You don't impress me as a devout Catholic. Are you kidding, man? Deep down, I'm as pure as the Virgin. Yeah, right. <laughs> Check all three towers. The staircase is leading up to them. Stay locked and bolted. Check. I don't care if they pump themselves once up there. You got it, buddy. What the hell did I just tell you? Why don't I go with him? It's three towers. Two men can check it out faster. Let's get something straight. Capitan, if Senora Presidenta trusted you to run the show, she wouldn't be wasting her money on me, okay? So now, get with the program and don't push your luck. No, you don't push. When this is over, amigo. You and I are gonna have a serious discussion. And believe me, it's going to hurt. I'm looking forward to it. I enjoy rain. You'll hear from me. Every two minutes. Oxnard. Yeah, right with that, top dog. We got you on visual. Keep the visual on Captain Asshole. He's pushing all my wrong buttons. You got him on a separate channel, right? Watch your dad. Then we're cool. Just let him do his thing, top dog. He's window dressing. Gotcha. Watchdog, top dog. What's the holdup? Team in position, top dog. Showtime. this administration based upon one single promise that we would move this country forward now let me tell you that in that brief period of time we have taken the first steps towards declaring a state of war but a war against poverty against starvation against ignorance and above all against political corruption Sidrab, talk to me, team. South side clear. Ocean clear, boss. A OK. Now, I realize, I realize that such a war requires sacrifice from each and every one of us. Come on, Mason. Quit saying your rosaries and give me a Sidrab. Starting at the very top, with us. With your leaders. And specifically with me. Mason. Oxford, I've got a problem. Every morning, I look outside the walls of the presidential palace, and what do I see? Oxford! What's the problem, Pop Dog? Silhouette? Bail chamber at the clock tower. Can't get Mason on the horn. And where the hell is Oxnard? Don't waste time. Check it out yourself. I've got the plaza covered. I'm moving. What's up, boss? Hold your positions. This might be a diversion. I see poverty. I see sickness. I see disease. Officer, God damn it, where are you? I see hunger. Ramirez, are you near the cathedral? I see children dying in their mother's arms. Ramirez! And so today, my wife Isabella and I make the first series of personal sacrifices. And perhaps sacrifice is not the right word. We should simply call them duties. Our duties. Today, my friends, we return to the people of Santa Brava that which rightfully belongs to them. <laughs> we shall turn what was once a symbol of selfishness into a symbol of benevolence, into a symbol of life. Thank you. 
by the blood of the people shall take its right place as a palace for the people, as a palace of health and well-being for all the citizens of Santa Brava. My friends, this palace, this presidential palace, is not a gift. the assassins. They're in the clock tower of the cathedral. The assassins' names are David Benson and Captain Miguel Ramirez. They are armed and dangerous. Muy peligrosos. Do not hesitate to shoot. I repeat, shoot to kill. It was a setup. Those lousy bastards! What are they to my Mason! to do. Hola, amigos. Hola. Ay. You were saying? Get ready to jump. Again, top dog. Sorry, buddy. We'll nail him. We'll nail him. <laughs> Get this loose end out of my sight. Now move! Si, senor!
us. Oh, shit. Why did they do it? Why did your people kill our president? Pick a reason. Dealing the shackle and oxide. Damn, I should have seen it coming. They will pay for this. Keep dreaming, amigo. These guys are experts at getting away with this kind of shit. We gotta keep moving. You still think you are giving the orders, huh? You're still giving me shit. Why change the winning combination? Have you thought about where you are going, if I may ask? I just keep heading north. Sooner or later, I end up right where I started a few days ago. Then you don't care if Shaquel and Ox not get away with this? Now you hold it right there. Let's forget for a moment that the entire country is trying to hunt us down. What I won't forget is, so all I want to do is get the f out of Santa Brava as fast as possible. If that's your choice, we should be heading that way. It's more safe. That's solid jungle up there. I know this country. If we go that way, we can find food and water. I, uh... I have a sister there. A sister? What? It surprises you that I have family? After what I went through today, nothing can surprise me anymore. She can take care of us. Hide us. Until it's safe for you to cross the border. Sound like a plan? Lead the way, Jose. I didn't give a shit about the others. You were supposed to kill Benson and Ramirez. It'll happen. It'll happen. It'll happen when, you fuck up! If Benson gets to the border and squeals to the international news media, we are in deep, deep shit! Am I making myself perfectly clear? Crystal. Miguel, your sister, is she, by a stretch of the imagination, good looking? Gringo, don't even think about it. If she doesn't cut your balls off, I will, with a rusty knife, okay? Okay, chill out, man. I'm just asking. Hey, Mr. Personality, would it offend you if I ask about her? Okay. Really know this country, do you? Come in. My dear Senora Sousa. My profound condolences, Isabella. This is a tragic day. My Fernando is dead, which means you are now the acting president of Santa Brava. I assume that role with no great joy, Senora. Glad to hear it, Senora. Because you're under arrest. What? We have reason to believe that Senor Azusa may be working with the guerrillas. And that he, in fact, orchestrated your husband's assassination. Th that is insane. Fernando and I have been friends since childhood. Pending the conclusion of an investigation, Senor Azusa, I'm afraid that we must place you under protective custody. General Baez. Are you taking the word of this? There will be no further discussion on this matter. Take him away. Trust no one, Senora Presidenta. Especially these Americans. If anyone is responsible for your husband's death, it is them. So, what's your progress with Benson and Ramirez? Orders are sealed. Major Oxnard is personally scouring every square foot of the country. These murderers were able to escape from your Major Oxnard and the Federales today. Two men surrounded by an army. 
And you tell me they still leave? I will deliver their heads to you personally, Senora Presidenta. Do that, Coronel. And quickly. been broadcasting a description of the two assassins. A gringo and a Capitan Federale who betrayed his country. I suppose they will be offering a huge reward. What is your name, senor? We didn't do it. That's a very strange name. We were set up by a couple of guys who supposedly hired us to protect the president. Of course. The generales would never dirty their hands with a direct attack on the Presidente, which explains the two of you. Exactly. The psychotic mercenary and the Turcot Federale. Now that we got that straight, so please can you... This say Presidente Jesus has probably been arrested and quietly removed by now. And Senora Presidenta, she will have little to say except which dress she wears tomorrow. So the General is slowly take back the country. Look, this has been fun and educational. And we can keep speculating all night. The point is, we didn't do it. So if you please can untie me and my friend... Not yet, Senor. Why not? Because I truly do not believe your story. Oh, this is bullshit. Look, if it's not asking too much, can you please ask for your honcho, your leader? Senor, you're speaking to her. Can we trust him? He's not one of them. Miguel? Casillas is the one you're supposed to keep alive. You already said they will find a way to kill him. I have to admit now. All right, Teresa. Pablito, on time. Wait a minute. She's your... I'm the one who got the good looks. She got the brains. down river from where we relieve ourselves. You know, miss a little coffee and usually you can't tell the difference. Por favor. ¿Qué pasó? Dáselo. ¿Cómo va? Dáselo. Mano the rifle against my shoulder, elbow on the knee, cheek on the stock. Notice how steady the barrel is now. We try. Okay now. Focus your eye on the front side, not the target. I know it doesn't sound logical, but just try it. That's it, Okay, good. Now try again. And this time, don't jerk back the trigger. Just squeeze, okay? Ah! 
¡Órale! Joselito, squeeze. They have a lot of spirits, Raisa. They're a long way from being real soldiers. At one time in his life, neither was David Benson. I wish back then somebody would have told me what you should tell them. Go home and stop playing with guns. Perhaps I would. If they had homes they could go back to. You see, many of them, they are orphans. Their families murdered by the same Herradas who now hunt for you. They had only someone like you, Benson. The name is David. They only had someone like you, David, to train them. Sure. Let's build up some false hopes that I might be able to take on a real army. Might as well be teaching them how to dig their own graves, lady. Because that's all I'd really be doing. Is there no shred of faith left in your soul, David? Sorry, no. I've seen what happens to kids like these when you toss them into the meat grinder of combat. It ain't a pretty sight. Teresa! Maybe he's right. And maybe... He's just a coward. Hermana? No. If being a coward means I'm sick and tired of people dying around me, then maybe you're right. I too am sick and tired of people dying. I too get out to the border and escape. But he will not stop me dying. Senora Presidenta, the this cannot continue. Excuse me, Senator. Our Congress has been abolished. All legislation from the past 60 days has been... has been invalidated by General Baez. Senor Marquez, I recommend we speak of this matter immediately and in private. Yes, ma'am. General Baez? Senora? You will join us, please. Yes, ma'am. I regret to inform you, Senora Presidenta, that our congressional power has been revoked by this very man. The ability to reverse this travesty still lies in your hands, Senora Presidenta. The people love you, as they love your late husband. They would support your decision without question. You're right, Senor Marquez. They do love me. And will believe whatever I tell them. General Baez? Si, senora Presidenta. You will please prepare a statement for the press. Statement? It will offer my sincere condolences to the people. These latest assassinations by the bloodthirsty and murderous guerrillas have caused me to fear for the safety of the man on the street. Sounds good. Regrettably, we are forced to temporarily impose martial law. Eloquently articulated, Senora Presidenta. Oh, thank you. Uh, but if, if I may suggest, uh, I, I think it's a grave error for uh, an anonymous voice to uh, uh, convey the announcement to the populace. Oh, definitely, I agree. The voice of their beloved Isabella must be heard. If you all insist, have someone remove this, would you? They are bleeding on my carpet. Until these butchers are brought to justice, we must put our trust in the hands of our loyal military. For these reasons, sadly, I must repeat, martial law is now in effect. Regrettably, it is my duty to inform you, yeah. my people, that citizens found on the streets after sundown will be arrested and detained. Hey, wait up. Can you believe that bullshit? 
Shackle must have her head so completely turned around. Do not for a second believe she is so innocent or naive. Do you know what her real family name is? Yes, yeah, Santiago. I know all about them. Do you? Really? Yeah, when they realized your husband wasn't going to tow the company line, they decided to hire my illustrious girl. You keep good company, don't you, David? Which explains maybe why you've grown so cynical. Look, uh... I'm really sorry about this afternoon. What's there to be sorry about? You expressed your feelings, I expressed mine. You're leaving tomorrow, and I'm staying. And then once we really should be sorry, continue lying to the people on national radio. Life goes on. Hey, Teresa. You're not gonna try anything crazy, are you? Eventually. Maybe we will. Yes, of course, by some milagro, another Casillas is elected. Do you realize you don't have a single decent assault rifle? We'll get one, and then we'll get another. Nothing is impossible if you still have faith in your heart. And where, if I may ask, will Faith get those rifles for you? There's an army base about 12 miles from here. Yeah, heavily guarded, I'm sure. Tonight, yes, but that will all change tomorrow. Martial law, remember? They'll all be gone, deployed to the city. I guarantee you, they won't all be gone. Look, you got kids with BB guns and World War II carabines. We've made detailed sketches and diagrams, realizing, of course, that a good plan of attack is needed. And a few sticks of dynamite wouldn't hurt you. We have exactly ten. Low yield, but loud. All right, one week. That's all I'm giving you. At the end of that week, you give me a personal escort to the nearest border. Dear, words cannot express my appreciation. Thank you, David. Thanks, son. I gotta learn. Who's next? Race? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on, kill. Come on, kill. Now you're dead. My fellow countrymen, I want to tell you what we know so far about the murder of my husband. Many of you blame the great beards of my husband's son's party. Some have dare accuse my own family members. Some blame the corrupt police and the drug lords who bribed them. But I have proof that the dark hand of the guerrilla insurgente is behind my husband's murder. And as for the two criminals who actually murdered my Quite dear Quite the little Fernando, media, darling, isn't she? I can promise you that they will be apprehended. <laughs> Good job, Teresa.
But I have proof that the dark hand of the guerrilla insurgente is behind my husband's murder. And as for the two criminals who actually I murdered my dear Fernando, I was quite convincing. I, can I think you that they would be apprehended. You, the phenomenon. not too hard to understand why you weren't willing to let him give away the family farm. <laughs> I believe you Americans refer to it as uh, crossing the line. Very good. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Senora Presidenta. Oh, God. One moment. What is it, Coronel? Forgive the intrusion. I wanted to remind you that the generals are waiting for you downstairs. The budget meeting, if you recall? Mm, I did not forget, Coronel. Please inform the generals. I'll be with them presently. But of course. Oh, and uh, Major, I'll be needing a word with you, too, in my office. If it's not too much trouble, find a pair of pants. Glad you can make it, Major. Pretty girl. Who's she? Aside from Benson, she may be the greatest threat this new government is facing. Why? She's spreading the clap. Listen! Allow me to alleviate any further misunderstandings. Your dick is not running this show. I am. I never said you weren't, sir. You still haven't told me who she is. Intelligence has been interrogating some of Ramirez's former colleagues. They've dug up some very interesting dirt. Federale Capitan, suspected guerrilla leader. Now, what does your finely trained military mind determine upon comparing these, hmm? No fucking way. Seems like the good captain had a rather incriminating skeleton in his closet. Which may explain why he was so eager to join Benson's little Boy Scout troop. Now, putting two and two together... If we find her... We find Ramirez, we find Benson, the whole nest of conspirators. I want you to circulate these, I want you to give copies to your search teams. We're gonna nail these insects, I can smell it. Oh, uh, Major, one other thing. Uh, do not allow your extracurricular activities to distract you from the task at hand. Just servicing the client, Colonel. The CIA has spent good money teaching me how to do that.
third explosion. We have exactly three minutes. We have to hurry. Pull in, sir. Teresa, you drive. and professional right out of the textbook benson yeah. benson why is this benson so hard to kill gentlemen it won't be so hard to kill once we find him and when will that be major the next ice age bitch i'll head out to the army base benson whoever's helping him can't be far off and by the way it's senora presidenta bitch Thank you, Major. Then I'll uh... What was that you said about the meat grinder of combat? It ain't a pretty sight. You saved his life, David. I clean his stitches wounds. I want to see if he's going to make it past the fever and the infection. Somehow, I have a feeling you will. Viva Jefe Benson. Surely it is necessary to hide the weapons? Our camp is too close to the army base. The people who are looking for us may be rotten, but they ain't dumb. So I suppose you want that escort now? To the border? Well, uh... Come on, come on, I'll show you the way. It's a lot closer than you thought. Teresa! I don't think it's a good idea. I mean, people are looking for us, remember? Miguel, my dear hermano, people have been looking for us since the day we came here. I don't think it's a good idea. How do you know? 
I'm the one who's been living in the jungle for five years, not you. Baby, you coming or no? Where did you learn how to sew a wound like that? Were you a doctor? Green Beret. They don't just show us how to kill people, you know? No, I didn't know. There's a lot of things about you I don't know, David. Still don't know if you are leaving or if you are staying. Was that the purpose of the little trip here? To help me make up my mind? It's right over there. The border. Beautiful. Beautiful view. So, how does a pretty girl like you end up in a place like this? It was no plan. I just finished college in Venezuela. It was a bad time for Santa Brava. As bad as now, maybe worse. One night, the Santiago's came with their soldiers. My mother and my father were shot. And my brother, me. They beat him for two days. She's left for dead. And me, they took me with them. And when they were finished, they left me in the jungle to die. Some survivors in the village, they found me. Maybe 20 children, a few older people. When I grew stronger, I stayed with them. Miguel. Miguel. Miguel, he thought things could be better changed from the inside. I realized how impossible it was he started to give us information. Sometimes I say too much. Come on, let's go back to the camp now. I'll stay a bit. There's a couple of things I need to think over. I'll see you later. You will. Did the border look? Couldn't really see it. Oh no? Busy doing something else? Well, maybe if I score you there, you're gonna have better luck. That's rather generous of you, Miguel. What's up? You know what's up. I think it's time we stick to your original plans, Kringo. Time for you to leave Santa Brava before things get too hot. I'll make that decision when I decide the time is right. Time for you to leave is now. And there are two ways you can do it. The easy way or the hard way. And the hard way, I guarantee, is gonna hurt. Does this mean we're finally gonna have our little talk? Up to you, amigo. Then I guess... Then I guess it's that time.
When we came back to the camp, it was an ambush. They took her where, Joselito? In a helicopter. Then it was over. She's alive? Está viva? Si. You know what they're doing, don't you? She's bait. Fine. We have guns now. We take their bait. Slow down, Miguel. We need a plan. It's easy for you to say, Gringo. She's not your blood. No. It's not easy for me to say, Miguel. And we still need a plan. Come in. Señora Presidenta, the prisoner is here. Thank you, Captain. Bring her in. Felicidades, Capitan. Sir. Welcome. Teresa Ramirez, I'm Colonel Shackwell, and this is Senora Presidenta Casillas. That was a very impressive little job you pulled at the army base. I don't suppose you had any profession. Did you? Answer him! I said... Answer him! Santiago Garbage, you're not fit to walk in Fernando Casillas, a shadow! Hold her back! No, stop it! After you have finished with her, she's mine. Is that before or after her brother shows up? Right. There would be a certain poetic justice if we allow them to witness each other's torture. Oh, wait. Off to change her soiled dress. Poor dear. You know, deep down, she's really quite sweet. Do any of us really have time to dig that deep? Enough of this. Take her out. Follow me. The policies and mandates of my husband shall live on through me. You're hurting me! I have assumed the office of president by emergency... I can't see myself! By emergency order of the People's Congress. You trusted Fernando Casillas. I now beg you to place that same trust in me. And you have my vote.
Rock Santa Brava. This is a historic night for all of us. For tonight, we enter into a partnership. A marriage, if you will. For tonight, we go to hell. My beloved people, the policies and mandates of my husband shall be gone. You trusted Fernando Casillas. I now beg you to place that. I now beg you to place that same trust in me. What's going on? Do something! I'm not paying you to stand around and look stupid! Signora Presidenta. Who are you? Where's the girl? In the jail cells, most likely. You must be this Benson they keep talking about. Si, sí, Signor Vice Presidente. Is. Then. Your enemy is mine. I must get to the captain of the guard. Okay. Miguel, meet me at the TV studio. Okay. Please, you have to come with us. The guerrillas have broken through. Please! Don't you touch me! Hey, where are you going? To find Senora President. I have no debt to repay. That might help. Drop it, David. Set you up, old buddy. But you were just such a perfect target. Yeah. No problem, man. I'll lift. Not this time, David. This time, it's adios. Adios. <laughs> <laughs> But, Senor Vice President, the guerrillas are the guerrillas. Are not the enemy, my friend.
Training sure paid off. Find Isabella? Don't worry. I will. You know, you answered a very important question for me tonight, David. Which is? You're staying, aren't you? Don't worry, Benson. She won't be lonely. You are about to join her. You thought you could ruin everything for me, didn't you? You and your filthy guerrilla friends. But I'm a Santiago, Senor Benson. Don't you realize that my family has owned this country for over 50 years? That I own it now. That is are just you have your husband assassinated didn't you Fernando Fernando was a fool he only cared for his poor washed masses he locked vision he was a rotten lover don't take this the wrong way Senora Presidenta, but you've just totally lost it. Not compared to what you are about to lose. Smile. The fighting's over! The palace is ours! And Rabbi has been placed under arrest! No! Oh, 
خودتش خودتش This so-called victory of yours will only turn out to be a bad joke. The people are still mine. You will see. Miguel, no. Oh. Are you okay? Get out of my way! Talk to them, Isabella. Talk to your people. They're waiting. My people, here is the assassin of my beloved Fernando. You kill him! Do you need someone to show you to the border, amigo? Let's stick around for a while. It's okay with you. It's a free country now. Thanks to you. Us. And a few others. Who couldn't be here today. To your memory. Hermano. Teresa. Teresa. Didn't you and I have something to finish? I think so, but you know something? I can't remember what it was. It's right on the tip of my tongue. Maybe it was this. Works for me, amigo. <laughs> Salud. Salud. 